Hello, welcome to another Arduino tutorial from J5 Robots. Today's tutorial is going to be on LCD displays. With me I have two versions of the LCD displays. So we'll be playing with, as usual, the Cduino. And from the Cduino we will use our Grove Shield. As well as our Cduino sh shield. And we will see the difference between a parallel output shield as well as a serial output shield. And this project should be fun because text output is basically unlimited. You can put whatever you want out on a 16 by 2, but it can give you unlimited opportunity for a user interface to interact with your user of your devices as a way to tell what's going on within the electronics with a simple output from the text. You can also use this output to also do settings, create the user interface where the user can get in to change settings and put things in to operate the way they want. So we'll find these LCD displays are very useful. The difference between a serial LCD and the parallel LCD, the parallel LCD uses a large group of pins called a bus. So the bus is going to require more signals to pass through. It's a little bit faster. Uh, well, it depends on how much data you're processing, but for this LCD it's probably going to be just a little bit faster. But you wind up using more pins, more of your ports. The serial LCD from Grove uses four pins. You're going to have your ground, your VCC, and it has a reset button so it transmits that signal as well. So the LCD is much easier to use just four wires go out to this one versus the ten that are used for this parallel port. So we'll see how they differ and how it affects the code. So let's get started with our Arduino. For our first project here, we're going to need some things from the internet. So first we're going to go to the Cduino page at cduinostudios.com and from here we want to so we go to the bazaar and we go to the grove and then I just scrolled down till I got to the Grove Serial LCD. And then we just need the Serial LCD library. So we just click this and then new Serial LCD library dot zip. So you want to download this and then <clears throat> unzip the file here, new serial LCD, and that will create the library file. And then you just take the unzip file serial LCD and copy that to your libraries file which can possibly which is in your Arduino folder so you just go to program files 86 Arduino assuming this is where yours was installed and then in the libraries as you can see I already have my serial LCD so I don't need to update it also this serial LCD library contained examples So you got some examples and we will be working with these examples today. So let's get ourselves out of here and into the Arduino IDE. So we open up Arduino. And we'll start by opening a sketch. 
and we can see uh, I go to the libraries and I click my serial LCD and I see these examples here and typically most people will start with a hello world this is usually the start of a lot of programs especially if they have an output of some sort that you can influence the display and hello world is just a common opening statement on most things new in the technical world so if you get into programming you're gonna find a lot of programs might start out with hello world so we will start with this one and we open it and this is a simple program here with Arduino and this serial LCD as we can see this example program comes from Cduino Studios it's for the 16 by 2 LCD and first we need to include library codes for serial LCD.h which we already which we just did we downloaded that so we were able to include those functions in our code and then we need to also include soft serial dot h and then we need to set up our hardware so we assign serial lcd slcd to pins 11 and 12 so this is your transmit and receive pins so you need to set those up on which ones you're going to use and we just set up our hardware here and we call LCD begin and that sets up the initiation between the LCD and Arduino and then we print message to LCD so this uses SLCD print hello world and that should be our displayed message. Text in Arduino shows up in blue. Uh, so anything in here would be what is displayed on your screen as much as it can fit. 16 by 2. So remember, there's not a whole lot of room there. Try and make it as useful as possible. So th on this code, we just go into our loop. And it sets a cursor to column 0 line one and line one is the second row since counting begins with zero so column zero is actually column one if you were to count them but zero is the initial one so we've set the cursor to zero comma one so that's column and line and then we print number of seconds since reset. So this is a simple program. Gets us started, gets us something on a screen. So let's go about and see how this works. So we will up upload our code. Alright, there goes our code. It's uploading. Okay, so now we just need to install our shields and connect our screen. So we'll start by just removing power while we set this up. Connect our shield simply by aligning the pins and pushing firmly into place. So now we get this little brick like thing and our code here is set for pins 11 and 12 and on these grove shields each one of these these are digital connectors here in the middle and each one of the digital connectors actually 
has two pins that are tied to it so one may be connected to the next as well so like this first one down here connects the digital pins 7 and 8 for the two digital ports and this one would be 8 and 9, 9 and 10, 10 11, 11 12 so I want to use number 11 which goes out to pins 11 and 12 so I just simply put my connector in there and then I want to connect to my LCD so I simply pop my connection here and we will again connect our power so here we can see our display works it displays the hollow world just as we expect and counts up the time since the last reset so let's see if we can change up this code a little bit we will just add to the code just to show we can change it set a hello world let's say hello j5 robots now let's use some proper grammar here we'll capitalize some things Okay, so we have our edited program, so we'll just upload that. Alright, so now we can see with the code uploaded, it says hello J5 robots and still continues to count the time up as it's been on. Here I've modified the hello world sketch to give us some backlighting. And backlighting is simple as doing an LCD backlight and this illuminates the backlight. So we have our backlighting and I've changed the text to print out J5 robots. And in our loop it's going to set the cursor to 0, 01 and print LCD tutorial. So uh, let's see how this works out. And now our program has been uploaded. And now you can see the display now reads J5 Robots LCD Tutorial. So there's a pretty simple tutorial here. Uh, the Arduino along with the Arduino Shields make it very easy for the user to get started in adding LCDs to their project. If you have an LCD that you've done anything with and you'd like to show us, we'd love to see it. So please put your comments down, put links to your videos in our comments, and we will check them out. and. Maybe even be able to give you a little helpful advice if you're in need of any. So next we'll move on to the basics of using the Ciduino Studios Parallel LCD. For this next part of the tutorial we're going to look at using the Ciduino electronic brick components, uh, specifically their LCD shield. The LCD the backlighting on the electronic brick LCD is via manual switch. So we can clip on a manual switch here as well as there is a power switch that comes on from here also. 
in a manual fashion. So what we were able to get in the serial with in code, this has on a manual. So that's one downside to this. But now let's look at the code that we need to generate our sketch. So we're going to be using a liquid crystal library. And this is a 16 by 2 display. Uh, it gives a readout here of the circles. Though this was made for the Hitachi HD44780 driver which works the same with this LCD we're currently using. So this tells you what pins you would need to use but ours is a little bit simpler than that. So we're gonna include the header and then we need to initialize our liquid crystal LCD and this is using pins 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. In this sketch that is the pins that are on bus 2 which I'm connected to here on bus 2. There's bus 3 and bus 1 is the first one on this side. I will point you in the right direction to a website the seed wiki and on the seed wiki it has the electronic brick and it gives a little bit of instruction for each thing. They have the electronic brick starter cookbook. So we open that up and this is a PDF that will kind of guide you through the basics of Arduino as well as using the shields. So this describes one of the older shield. This is our current shield so we see on bus one it's what pins are there. And then if we're using bus 2, the available pins, and then again on bus 3. And we want to scroll down to use our LCD, and here we go. And we're just going to load the liquid crystal display as it says. And they give you the readouts here for which pins you need to put in a code for depending on which bus you're going to use. So bus 1, you're going to call out this section of code. The 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And bus 2, we're going to call out 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you can see here, bus 1, bus 2. And that is all they give us, tell us through. But that's all we need. So let's go back and look at our code. So we've got our pin set up. We're going to spit out to the world. Hello world. And then as before that we did with the Grove setup, we then said hello world and then put the cursor below and printed the time in seconds that since the last reset. So we'll upload our code. And we can see now our code has uploaded and it now displays hello world and counts up in seconds from the last restart. So if we were to click the restart button on the shield, it starts over again. This is a great little project for you guys to work on, so I hope this helps further your robotics build or at least your imagination to create a robot. I just wanted to share with you guys another script I found. Uh, this is an Arduino example and this one can be used with the electronic brick. And to load this one you can go to file open and under the example scripts for liquid crystal, 
you can go into example and look for custom characters and load this so this one I've edited a little bit to make it work one of the problems I had initially was it didn't like to create characters zero up here well more or less it didn't like it here when you try to write zero probably got confused with write zero probably means like write nothing it didn't work so I just changed the number up here to make it five so it didn't conflict with any of the other characters special characters made and then change the code here and it works fine so uh, but basically this code what we do here we get a little bit of uh, information about setup the sketch prints I heart Arduino and a little dancing man on the LCD plus a few things I've added so the pins we're gonna use uh, not we're using a shield for this so we set up our screen again on the bus 2 and here we got the bytes and we enter the code here to, so this is the byte code that would generate a heart shape in the LCD and here's the byte code that makes a smiley face and do a byte code for frowny face and the arms up as well as the arms down and then you turn these bytes into characters which are assigned to a number so you write the number it displays the text so when as this goes through this reads on a potentiometer that we are not currently using which the potentiometer would set up the delay time for the guy on there waving his hands up and down. So if we did set in this potentiometer on analog pin zero, we could then see we can vary the arms adjust, but right now it's just going with a default. And so we set the cursor. So the text that we did in our setup here stays all the time so we're just adding in set cursor for column four row one the little man with his arms down then we in the same position we do arms up with the delay so now this is just copying over itself on the delay and then I added in after these delays set cursor to eight one which is column eight row one draw the smiley so it right one draws a smiley face, change the cursor position to the next one, draw a frowny face, change the position for the last one. Oh, this is supposed to be draw heart. And edit your notes. So it adds again five, so we see that. And then we just simply upload this code and we shall see what it does for us. And now we see with this code loaded that now our LCD displays I heart Arduino with a smiley face on the top line and a man moving his arms up and down on the bottom line followed by a smiley frowny and a heart so this is really cool uh, what kind of characters can you come up with let us know down in the comments thank you for joining us for another Arduino tutorial by J5 Robots definitely come out to our blog check us out see what else we've got I'm sure I'm sure there's more turtles that are of interest to you. Thank you for watching this Arduino tutorial. Please check back to, for our other tutorials on how to use servos and LEDs and SD cards as well as many more. We'll see you next time.